Sunday. Let's get ready for church. I'm wearing this like it's like a dress thing, but the top it doesn't fit me that well So I put a shirt on over it to be like a skirt and I think it's really cute I actually did my makeup and everything. I woke up earlier than normal so I'd have time to get ready Anyway, today is Sunday and I wanted to vlog my Sunday I'm a Christian so my Sundays pretty much revolve around like going to church and hanging out with my church friends and stuff like that So I'm just gonna bring you along my day. All right, it's a little after 9 So I'm gonna go ahead and head to church. My church starts at 9 30 and I'm going to pack up all my stuff that I need, which includes my Bible and then my journal so I can take notes during the sermon. And I always bring everything in this cute little green tote. So let's go to church. So right now I'm just waiting on my boyfriend because we ride to church together. So I'm picking him up. I think we are going to be good and on time, left nice and early. I'm glad I woke up extra early because I've been having to take extra time so I can vlog. I don't know how vlogging today is going to go because I'll be at church. I don't want to vlog in church. So we'll see. I'm back home from church now. It was really good. We've been doing a study on Joshua, both like in the worship service and in our classes. So I went to like the main thing and then to class. And now I come home and change. I get food on my way and I go to the park to hang out with people who are like in my group. The same people who like go to our Bible study on Tuesday. So it's always really fun on Sundays because I get to go outside and eat at the park. And I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> okay, I changed and now me and my boyfriend, he wants to take me to Salada. Oh, I've only had it one time before and it was so good. Oh, sorry. And then we're gonna go to the park. I'm back from the park. It's literally so hot outside and it made me so tired. And I started my period so extra tired and I really just want to like relax and probably watch my show with my boyfriend so this might be a multiple day vlog because I thought I would be more entertaining but there's only two people at the park today normally there's a lot more but my salada was really good and yeah I just really want to like take a nap and watch a show right now I'm literally recording you don't want to be in my video no I just woke up from a nap and watching shows and now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna get stuff to make cookies just got done grocery shopping I don't know why I wore a hoodie me and Charlie made dinner for us and steak mashed potatoes and mushrooms that looks very good so I made these this cookie oh and I'm making cookies just threw some in there and these look like they're gonna be the best cookies I've ever made I tried the dough it's literally banging and then we're playing a ton so the cookies were an absolute hit usually I kind of struggle to make cookies they're always like rock hard and I finally found like a good recipe and figured out how to actually cook them without overcooking them so they were bangers had some cookies with milk played a couple of games a ton I won one my boyfriend won one Charlie did not win one <laughs> yeah now I'm just kind of laying in bed Usually I don't like to do Sundays as like a reset day because I can do that on Saturday or on Monday. So I did laundry and everything yesterday because I feel like a lot of people do like a reset on Sundays. But I like to take it more of just like a rest, relax and like not worry about anything type of day. So I'm just going to kind of hang out and chill in bed now. Good morning. Well, honestly, it's not a morning at all. It's literally 2.45 on Tuesday. So fantastic. Anyway, so now... <laughs> <laughs> Charlie is making us lunch-ish. It's like three o'clock, so I don't know what this is. Probably lunch. Look at her hair. We love it. The, the little bun. I was training it, and we got hungry, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all we need to know. What are you making us? I'm making us wing and egg. Never had it. I'm excited. And potatoes, because got to always add potatoes to everything, because it's good. Anyway, so basically the rest of Sunday and the Monday, it was like, you know when you just start your period and you just don't function? Like, just not happening. That was me. 
So I just didn't function, nothing happened. <laughs> I went to the gym and that was like it, which I'm surprised I even went to the gym. I actually haven't even gone to the gym today, so I'm struggling today. Anyways, oh my gosh, this is such a random side note, but I never told you guys, after I re-pierced my nose, this half of my nose where it's pierced went numb. And it's been like over a month and it's still numb. Like I can't feel there. I don't even know how to describe the sensation because it's like I know I'm touching it, but I think I'm feeling it on my finger, not on my nose, because I cannot feel that side of my nose. I didn't realize you were still numb. Yeah, it's still numb. I think this is a permanent thing now. <laughs> so that's a major L. <laughs> What'd you say? Sonic. Sonic? Yeah, the slushies you here. Oh, today? Uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I already had this. I was like, you just told me you had pre-workout and coffee and you want a Red Bull slush. <laughs> I mean, I'd be down. Don't get me wrong. I could get a boneless slush and you could get the Red Bull one. Okay, I mean, I'd be down. Okay, I'll order them and go get them. That'll give me something to vlog, too. Well, while I drive to Sonic, we can chat and hang for a second. I feel like my number one question every time I talk about like church and stuff is how I found a home church. So I wanted to talk about that for a second. So I am a new Christian and new to my state, new to my city, everything. So I get that it can be really scary to find a home church and get involved. Um, whenever I moved to my town here, I wasn't going to church or anything. It had been a while. I was going to church to a Christian church when I was in Utah for a little bit. But then when I moved here, I was living with friends and they didn't go to church. And then I was like, oh, I don't know how to find a church. So I basically basically like just looked up churches near me and then I don't really care what denomination it is so if you do you could look up whatever denomination you want to be part of. I went to their website and I checked out what their like statement was, what they believe, what they teach and looked for one that was like very biblical accurate like where I knew they were going to be reading out of the bible every single Sunday and not just making stuff up that kind of thing so i tried out a couple different churches and i didn't like some of the first ones that i went to and i wanted to find one that i could find like a good group of people my age so i finally found the one that i go to now and the first sunday i went there it was like i felt like god was like this is your home church and so i was like oh okay well that made that easy so you know the best way to find a home church is like praying to god asking him where he wants you to be and stuff like that and then uh i started going there consistently in about october and then november december i finally joined a group and started going to class and the first sunday that i went to class it was like a 20 to 30 year old singles class um they invited me to go to the park and to the bible study so i did that all that week and then i started going every single weekend barely missed since so it's been like a couple months and then i knew i wanted to get baptized so i decided to get baptized there and they have this like beautiful garden where i got baptized and i got baptized on easter this year in april so it's just been really nice having this home church that i love and i have like all my friends that are my group and then i also joined a women's bible study through my church in the winter and that's how i met my i don't even know what to say like mentor like we do discipleship together once a week she's like older like 60s 70s and we just meet once a week and we'll talk about things that that we have been on our mind, things we need help with, or a prayer, or a Bible study, whatever it is, like we'll talk about all things relating to our walk with God, essentially. That's really awesome that I've been able to meet all these people. I definitely feel like God wanted me here. Like, obviously, if I'm there, then that's where God wanted me. Okay, I just pulled up to Sonic. What's my favorite thing about being a follower of Jesus? Oh, I don't know if I could pick just one thing. Um, I love that I literally just have the opportunity to worship the creator of everything. And I love the peace and joy, like the fruits of the spirit that I get to feel every single day that nothing really like, okay, they're already here. Yes, thank you. Thank you, have a good day. I don't have enough cup holders and they did not bring out a drink holder. Yes, I will sit with this between my legs. But anyway, just knowing like when life gets rough, I just think of Jesus and life isn't rough anymore. Fully relying on him is the best thing ever. And then I guess last thing I'll talk about, I always have people in my DMs ask me like, how do I get to know God more? And those kind of questions. Being in the word, in the Bible every day is life changing. People say there's like studies that whenever you read the Bible at least five times a week, then like feelings of loneliness, anxiety, sexual desires, everything like that goes down like 60% just five times a week crazy and it really doesn't even have to be a lot it could just be five minutes i once heard a pastor say do the 15 minute worship where you do five minutes reading five minutes praying and five minutes like singing or listening to music um another way that helped me was prayer life 
And I always thought prayer was like, okay, I need to be like, dear Heavenly Father and like fold my arms about my head because that's kind of what I was taught. I've taken that to a whole nother level recently. I literally am almost always in prayer. And the Bible talks about this, always being in prayer, always in communication with God. Like I'm literally always thinking about Jesus. Of course I have other things going on in my head, but it's like if someone asks me a question, my first thought in my head is something to do with Jesus most likely. Like I was just like, Hey God, what's up? This is what's going on. And sometimes literally just thanking him for things, not always asking for things. Something else that has helped me is I used to think of God almost like a genie, like, hey, can you give me this? Can I have this? But really, I, I shouldn't have been praying for that stuff. And what I've prayed for recently has been help me to align my will with God's will because that's gonna just put you right in that path where you need to be. Or I'll pray for like peace or comfort or joy, like the fruits of the spirit that are promised to us in the Bible about a situation. And then also in my prayers, I always try to start, especially at the beginning of the day, like my first prayer of the day, just surrendering the entire day to him. So. If you want to start your walk with God, surrender is going to be the most important thing. That's really what our whole life, after you become a believer, is to surrender. Like, literally everything. And honestly, the best thing you can do is just ask God that you want to get to know Him more. Just ask how you can get to know Him more, and He's going to guide you where He wants you to be. So, I hope that was good advice and maybe could help some people get to know God more. I'm super excited for you if you're starting your journey or rekindling your journey. And also, just remember that things take time. Like, you're not going to have everything figured out in even a year. I've been on my walk with God for a little over a year now of, like, fully surrendering and becoming a Christian. And I'm 10,000 miles ahead of where I was, but I'm also 100 million miles from where I want to be. So it's it's a lifelong journey. It's an eternal journey, getting to know God and getting close to Him. Ooh, yum, this looks so good, thank you. <laughs> All right, I've never had this, so here's my reaction. Mm-hmm. Per. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I've had weenies and I've had eggs, but I've never had weenie and eggs. Mm-hmm. And the sriracha just makes it hit even harder. <laughs>